Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA Web TV, and we're standing here on the sidelines of the ELA Berlin Air and Space Show. And I'm talking with Thomas Ryder, who is an astronaut and former director of human spaceflight at ESA. Now, the topic today is space exploration, human exploration, and there's also talk of a lunar orbital platform. What is that? The lunar orbital platform is, so to say, a stepping stone for returning to the moon robots, but uh, I would say in the next half of the coming decade, also human. And this overall concept will be a big stepping stone towards bringing humans, then maybe in one or two decades, to the neighboring planet Mars. Now, at what point are we in the development of this, uh, this platform? At the moment, uh, we are already working on one element that is in the area of transportation. Um, ESA is providing the so-called service module for the US Orion capsule. The first flight, the main flight, is planned for 2020. The first flight with a crew will be 2022, probably around this time. And then, of course, will, the time will come where this will dock to this um, lunar orbital platform. Now, in this context, we are now discussing with our member states which other elements we could contribute. And there are two specific things we have in mind. There is an interface unit which allows for refueling, for docking and for a communication terminal to the Earth. And another one which is a habitat, because in both areas we have quite a lot of experience. But that is, of course, a decision that we need to first uh, take with our member states. And we have um, excellent um, industrial support for that here. So what are the challenges that lie ahead, the immediate challenges? Well, um, the political ones are, of course, the first big hurdles we have to take technologically. It will be, of course, an evolution of capabilities, but I think they can be mastered. It's a little bit that we fit into the time frame of the plans of the US and other international partners and that we all need to get together. And this is a big challenge now also for David and his uh, directorate. Well, best of luck to you for that. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about space, you can visit our website at www.isa.int.